folks, welcome to Life on Beagle Road. Today we are going to our favorite used stuff store. We need some things for the barn and some things for the new chicken tractor. So it's always good to look for some used stuff. It's cheaper and better for the environment. like one of those things where I don't really have a use for this but I pretend like I do. Cast iron. Woo! This one pulls out. Yeah. It's kind of special. It is. Uh, those are our kids banging on the piano. What I'm looking for is something to replace the metal shelving in the barn so that I don't get dust and crud all over the stuff that's in there. And so the cats don't knock things off the shelves because that's becoming a thing. Oh, it is. <laughs> it is. It is, yeah. Yep. yep. Let me check all these and make sure that all the doors and drawers work. Everything works. Daddy's gonna put these on the floor of his shop. Well, the fascination with Nicolas Cage here is new, but interesting. These are solid wood and they're dovetailed. Let me finish it. Do the girls need new dressers? No? Yes? I don't think so. Me says yes. She also said she wanted a piano. What else are you looking for? Find those dresser. Oh, I'm gonna look for uh, a screen door. So I was gonna build one, but if they have one here that would be cheaper than the materials, then I would grab that. For where? The front uh, door to the garage. Oh, okay. The door is 36 by 81, which I think is actually bigger than the opening, but the glass I could use, and the whole thing is $20, so like, I could just take out the glass and use it. I don't actually want it to be a screen. I want it to be like glass. I was gonna use that plastic we had, but the glass would be way better. Is this a current project? It's on my current list of projects. You keep adding to my project list. So, I mean, if I stop doing your projects, then yeah, it would be a current project. There's only one list of projects and that's mine. I think these are just all windows. I don't know if there's any straight glass panels. By the way, if you're one to screen in a porch, you just come get a whole bunch of these. <laughs> I wouldn't have to make them. But look at that. I mean, that's massive, right? Yes. A bunch of those we could screen in the porch. Wouldn't look trashy at all. Hey, honey. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna say this as diplomatically as I can. These were not the projects we came here for. Oh, these were not the projects you came here for. They weren't the projects you came here for either. But And we're burning daylight on stuff we gotta get done. Fine. I love you. I'm still looking. This won't move. We can't get away from you. Come on, let's go. Ah, I got it. Okay, I found this one, and mm -hmm. I can just make the frame and screw it right into the frame. 28 inches, so I know it'll fit. If we buy this, can we go? Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. So explain to me, Courtney, how we're getting that heavy thing out of the truck and then down the hill into the barn. Go ahead, explain. Magic! Kenny didn't find exactly what he was looking for at ReStore, so we do still have to stop at Home Depot. 
but I got my cabinet for the barn and um, we found some really great storm windows. One is going to go in the garage, as Kenny explained, <laughs> even though that was not a project on the list. But hey, you know, sometimes with these used stuff stores, you just got to buy the stuff when it's there. Um, we grabbed three more windows for future shelter projects. Um, we are definitely going to be doing more and more pasture rotation, so we are going to need some portable shelters and um, always like to be able to make sure there's airflow through those. is in the barn and I'm kind of in the mood to just spend some time in here alone reorganizing. I'm a little crabby today so spending some time out here in my space would be good. Where the only noise I have to listen to is the noise of cats meowing and goats begging for food. Speaking of cats, this and cats don't go together. I already wanted to get the stuff off this shelf because of the dust, but now I've got cats knocking everything off of there. <laughs> good safety feature so I can't pull out so many drawers that this tips over and crushes me. I love this. I think this is for mixing drinks. That's the goat down kit, so I always want to make sure that that's easily accessible. Fit right out of here. Kenny filled this bottom drawer with tank de-icers and heat lamps that aren't currently hanging from the ceiling. One from last year is still hanging over there, but these were never permanently installed. Actually, I need to rethink this and put all the needles at the top and move some other stuff down here. Uh, Bridget and Emerson don't really tend to get in the stuff down here. They know that there are things in here that are sharp, but I still like to put it up high. I mean, here's hoping they don't shave their head with this or tattoo themselves with this. So everything fit in here except some python dust and fly spray and the birthing kit, but that's in this big plastic container anyway, and I like to be able to grab that and go. I'm really happy with how this cabinet turned out. Pretty much everything is fitting in there. The couple tall things, no big deal. Kenny just reminded me that we've got some kitchen cabinets in the basement uh, from when we did the kitchen remodel that we can hang in here, and tall stuff like that will fit in there really easily. That stuff's heavy anyway. I don't want it to tip over the cabinet. And Kenny built me this cool base for this. Easy peasy to move. I'll get this other shelf out of here and uh, get this where it belongs. Thanks for watching, guys. 
We appreciate you tuning in every day for Vlogus and are super excited about all the new subscribers to our channel that are following our journey. See you soon, super soon, like tomorrow. <laughs>